Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for the element of air. So if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of August 14th through the 16th, 2020. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, you're able to get some clarity. Um, also, be sure to check with me before making any payments um, on Fridays because I may be busy the next couple of weekends. Um, so yeah, please check in with me first. All right, central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords, the Magician, Strength, and the Page of Swords. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting something about nerve wracking. Um, Something could be going on right now or over the weekend where it just seems uh, nerve wracking or maybe someone is getting on your nerves. Um, it also looks like there's some sort of difficult decision to make. Um, I feel like there's something going on where you're needing to weigh your options. You also might be debating on which bill to pay first or um, there's some sort of responsibility that you might need to make a decision on like which one is most important could be some financial struggles um, maybe it's about you having to dip into your savings account instead of being able to use you know maybe you've gone over your budget and so now you're having to dip into your savings account um, I also feel that, yeah, it does look like you're going into your saving account and trying to figure out, you know, how to, you know, how to pay something off. Um, I feel, too, like things are kind of topsy-turvy. Romantically, there may be someone that is in and out of your life, someone who it, it seems like there's something is hard to take off the ground, hard to move forward, it's on, it's off, it's hot, it's cold. Yeah. And I also feel that there is someone that wants to approach you but they're they're nervous about it. So if this is in regards to any type of dating situation, um, I do feel that there's someone that is fighting for your attention. I do feel like there's someone who who's going to stand out from the crowd. But I also feel like someone is cheating to win. Someone is cheating or breaking the rules or going around the, the rules. It's like someone's taking a shortcut. Um... So I don't know what it is. It's just like someone is to get your attention. They're like, I'm not listening to what they said. I'm going to do this my way. Um, for instance, maybe you told someone that, you know, you you weren't interested or that you weren't wanted to move on or you set some sort of boundaries. I still feel like someone isn't listening. I feel like someone is just like, that's all talk. Um, if you are in a situation where someone is trying to decide between moving forward with you or with someone else, I feel that you are standing out from the rest. There's something about you that's uh, standing out. Any type of struggles that you have, uh, regardless of the situation, I feel that you will be standing out. You will come out uh, victorious over any obstacles. If people are 
coming at you or if you have any enemies, I feel that you will stand out um, and defeat your enemies. Um, also, the number 7-7 seven, seven may be significant. Something is going on with 7. Something also could be happening within 7 days. 7 days to 7 weeks, but I really feel like uh, 7 days. Now, hmm. Someone is doing something very, um, very sneaky. Like I was giving the example about somebody taking a shortcut or being very clever or not listening to you. Um, there is someone who is still manipulating you into hearing them out or getting your attention through some sort of manipulative way. Um, I also feel that there's going to be some sort of indirect communication. Uh, someone is playing around with words. Oh, goodness. Someone might even do some sort of spell work to get what they want. Somebody's like, man, fuck this. I'm going to use a, you know, some, a money spell or I'm going to use a love spell or I'm gonna do a spell against my enemies. Like somebody is, is taking some sort of action and kind of uh, manipulating the energies to, to get what they want. Um, someone also is coming off very hypnotic around you or very mesmerizing. Um, I feel like someone is trying to lure you or seduce you into listening to them. On a positive note, it, it looks like you will have multiple streams of income. You might be multi-talented. Um, you could be very creative. I see someone who's also um, like performing or someone is like being a performer. So someone could be very good at creating um, poetry, music, acting, yeah, someone is multi-talented. Someone is willing to lie to get what they want. This this could be you or it could be, you know, just someone around you or someone doing this to you. But I do feel like someone is performing, someone is saying whatever it takes. Even if you are filling out some sort of application, I feel like you are manipulating things. Um Let's say you need a reference check from a professional. You might call a friend and say, hey, I need you to say that, you know, I worked for you, this, that, and the, this, that, and the other, and you know how it goes. So somebody is taking some sort of shortcut um, in order to get their way. Um, and then again, I was saying something about like, you may be manifesting your desires uh, or as manifesting your own reality. Very good if you are creative writers. If this is dealing with health, I do feel that somebody could get manipulated into taking a shot because these are looking like needles to me. So make sure that you um, make sure that you ask the right questions before taking any type of shots or any type of new medication. Um, someone is promising something and it may or may not deliver. Someone might be testing a new product. Someone might not know anything about a product, but they're pretending as if they do. Hmm. I also feel that you may be acting resistant towards someone's efforts. Like whoever is trying to coerce you into talking to them, 
you might be resistant towards this energy that could be your intuition. If you do decide to move forward with something, this is also indicating that you do have thick skin um, to deal with this person or this energy or this situation. You will be able to handle criticism or you need to um, have thick skin to deal with someone's criticism. Um, someone may be coming off very judgmental. I see something being something about criticizing. Hmm. Yeah, but it's saying that you can handle whatever criticism this is. Someone might be criticizing you on your appearance, your work ethics, um, anything. Your taste in men or women. Now, I also feel that someone is out for revenge. Mm -hmm. Someone might be trying to do something to make you jealous or you could be doing that. I also feel like someone is being too quick to judge. So make sure you if this is you, make sure that you're thinking about things and analyzing things um, before you are quick to judge someone, before you're uh, quick to criticize someone. Just kind of catch yourself and think about it. Because I do feel like someone is being snappy or lashing out. It does look like someone is trying to hold their tongue now, playfully, it almost looks like it reminds me of people who are battling each other, um, like some sort of uh, freestyle, and someone is just like waiting for their turn, and somebody is like cutting the other person up, and then they just like, they're like, okay, I'm listening, I'm listening, and it's just like, wait before you go, before it's your verse, you know, think about it. So, something about something about bars like I do feel like somebody is like freestyling and it's like some sort of battle so playfully I don't know maybe you're listening to something uh, where people are going back and forth or maybe you are um, a, a music producer maybe you're a creator um, and maybe you are putting things together for a, or dealing with different artists Hmm. Now, I also feel that somebody has been saving something for last. They're like, I've been saving this for last. Like, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. So I don't know. Somebody's been pulling like a lot of tricks out their hat to get something that they want. And they're like, okay, this is it. This is my last trick. I do feel like someone is getting ready to work a miracle. I'm looking too at this uh, rainbow and how something is being all being bought together. This can go as far as like cooking. Somebody might be making an, a, 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 some sort of d delicious meal out of nothing. I don't know, it's just like, oh, I don't have anything in the refrigerator. I got a tomato, I got some cream, I got this. And then somebody's just like whipping something together and, and making some sort of miracle. Uh, that's another thing I'm seeing with these swords look like knives to me. And someone looks like they are a chef or wants to be a chef. Maybe someone's auditioning for something or maybe someone is, um, an influencer and does like foods. Speaking of being an influencer, I see it, there's a multiple, there's a multitude of things that you could do. I see something dealing with culinary. Um, I see something dealing with like shears or scissors, like being like cutting hair or cutting things, uh, being very crafty. Um, or someone maybe is showing people how to do something 
um, and especially going back to like someone who works in uh, editing or music, like maybe someone has like a little mix board or showing something on a screen, like someone might be very good at editing and showing things and how to edit. Um, yeah, so I do get the energy of someone who is an influencer. So you might be an influencer or you might be dealing with someone who's an influencer. Maybe this is a good weekend for you to work on those things. I feel like communication skills are still a little off. Uh, especially in regards to love. I feel like people are playing mind games and aren't really communicating properly. I feel like people are doing um, petty things to cause irritation or jealousy or doing anything to get somebody to uh, say something or speak. Like receiving a blank email. And it's just like, who sends a blank email? Like maybe someone just wanted to get your attention. I'm getting something about a blue jay. So I don't know if someone's name is Jay or if that's someone's nickname or if you see birds um, as spirit animals. Yeah, someone is doing some, someone is, is being sneaky in regards to the way they communicate. Um, you also could receive some sort of private message. I feel like someone is going to leave something there and then walk away and see how you react or handle something. So kind of think about something before you respond. I still feel like you might get tricked and then not realize that you just got tricked until after you've said something or responded to something. Someone has also been planning something or plotting something for a long time. And someone's getting ready to unleash whatever these plans are. Mm. I also see something in regards to signing documents. I feel like you're going to be successful in regards to something that you maybe apply to. And it might be because, yeah, you did kind of um, stretch the truth. Looks like someone's stretching. The Two of Pentacles is stretching something. Um, so I do feel like maybe someone stretched the truth in order to get a job, um, an apartment, um, a, a car, just anything something on an application. Someone is also going to gradually reveal a secret to you or it's like little by little. So it's kind of like someone's leaving clues out or you might be doing that to someone, leaving like dropping little hints and dropping clues, um, especially private uh, through like private communication. I'm seeing something in someone's DMs or an email. Um, what else was I getting here? So I feel too that you're being recruited, selected, invited to something. Um, yeah, I see you being recruited to something and invited. I see you also being selected or someone is going to send someone to you for them. I feel like someone is using a third party on, you know, to take care of their interactions. So you could get a call from an assistant uh, to start some sort of job. You might get a call or a message from someone who's like, uh, my friend is shy or my friend is this, that, and the other. They, I, I wanted to know what you thought about this person. So somebody is kind of like going, being like an in-between 
which also, again, I know I picked up an Arabic name the other week, but I'm getting the name Wali. And I know that is uh, one of the meanings, one of the Arabic meanings for that is like someone who's like a protector or go in between person. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of getting something of that sort. Mm, there's also someone who admires you or is attracted to you. And I feel like uh, they have been planning to ask you out. I feel like somebody also has red hair. Even if it's dyed. I feel like someone has red hair or red freckles even. I don't know if someone wears makeup to cover something about their features. Somebody also could be a makeup artist. Someone is a very skilled artist. I do see someone's very good with their hands. Someone is very good at drawing, sculpting. Very good with their hands. You could get hired to be something like um, for computer programming or something that deals, something that's techy. Oh my goodness, you know, this is the Five of Swords. It, it looks like seven to me. I still would uh, take into consideration the things mentioned. Sometimes that happens. It's like you're seeing something for a reason. You think it's a mistake, but it's not. But it still makes sense with someone tricking someone or manipulating someone into communicating with them because they're being immature in the way they're speaking or communicating. There's some sort of distance. Um, someone is being silent, but not really. I feel like someone is also trying to give you a hard time or make you work for something. Be careful of any contracts that you need to sign um, or any type of legal documents or agreements that you agree to because it almost looks like you could get tricked into something and you didn't see, you didn't read the clause or you didn't read the fine line. Also could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo. Mm. Again, going back to being hired, I feel like someone's being hired for something, invited to something, like invited to apply for something or invited um, mm, if you might have to sign some sort of disclosure, so I don't know if you work with some sort of government job or you are working for some, as a personal assistant to, towards someone and it's like you have to take some sort of, uh, sign some sort of non-disclosure. I'm seeing some sort of agreement being made. You also are going to feel, have some sort of an ego boost because you feel honored that you were chosen or that you stood out. And I feel like it's also gonna be hard for you. Um, it's gonna be hard for you not to talk about something. Like you're being asked to be quiet about something. If it's like, if you want this, you can have it, but you can't talk about this.
I see you also having some sort of anxiety or you keep dreaming about a water sign and not know why. I feel that there is telepathy between you and another person, especially water. You may have hurt someone's feelings, Air, and are completely clueless about it. Um, especially if you are Gemini, if you have Gemini in your chart, Gemini, uh, Sun, or Moon. Moon especially. I feel like you've there's something that was said without thinking. Um, and I feel like someone has been hinting or dropping clues that their feelings are hurt or there is some sort of disapproval in regards to something that you said, but they're not really saying it directly. They want you to figure it out, which is another problem why I said that there is some sort of communication issues because I feel like somebody is expecting somebody to read their mind. You might be expecting somebody to read your mind if this is your energy. Um, So yeah, there's um, a lack of maturity in regards to communication, really on both ends. That's why I'm reminding you to just make sure that you're thinking before you speak. Someone also might have an emotional outburst. Someone's acting out for attention. Someone might be acting out of character. If it's you, I feel like you're going to think about it and then ask, like, why did you do that? You're like, why did I do that? And then you might go silent. Or you might hide something or um, archive something. All right, let's look at some energy cards really quick. Didn't mean to go that long. All right, what additional messages are there for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Cornucopia, Broken Heart, Door to personal happiness and healing. Door to spirit, central issue. Um, okay, so I feel that there's an opportunity opening up for you. And the opportunity leads to everything that you ask for. You're going to have um, abundance, um, emotional abundance. Since both of these are out, I feel like you're going to have emotional and material abundance. You're going to have... Um, security, physically and emotionally. Um, if you were wondering about your health or some sort of health results, I feel like you're healthy. Um, yeah, I feel like you're fine, you're healthy. You might be even changing what you eat. I'm looking at the food in here. You might be trying to make better eating uh, habits or you're getting ready to let go. You might be eating a lot over the weekend or, you know, smoking over the week, whatever, any any type of habits that you have that you're trying to uh, manage or balance. You might be saying, this is the last weekend that I'm eating like this. This is the last weekend that I'm smoking like this. This is the last weekend that I'll dr be drinking. Like something's going on where maybe it looks like in order to gain, it still ends up have, having a loss or you might have to lose something. Um, but like I said, it's, that can go for those of you that are maybe moving into a new home. It's like you have to leave a home that you cared about, but at the same time, you're entering, um, a new home filled with just as much beauty and security. Um, if it's a job, maybe you, you had an emotional attachment, maybe you really liked your coworkers, but at the same time, you had to leave that and you're going to go towards this new opportunity. Yeah. So either way, I feel that 
your spirit guides are leading you to something. Um, again, this also looks like somebody leaving some sort of clues out. And be because it's a broken heart, it makes me feel like maybe there's an ex in a picture that's been in and out of your life and they're trying to they're trying to say my door is open my door is open you're welcome to come in I want you to know that I'm still interested so someone is trying to leave out a clue to say that they're interested or they're open if you so happen not to acknowledge it or notice it because of the communication or because something's going over your head and you just didn't realize it I think their feelings are gonna be hurt you might not even be aware of that um, but I feel that at the end of the day, um, those issues are going to be resolved or something will become clear. Um, it's just a matter of better communication. I see you also accepting any job offer and, you know, like I was saying something about you filling out some sort of application. I feel like the doors are open to you. Um, even if you apply to several jobs uh, or several things, one of them you're going to lose out on, but the other you're going to get. Um, so it doesn't matter. I feel like you're going to be blessed with abundance overall. Um, so hopefully those messages resonate for you guys. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.